Good day, fleshy mammals. I am re-remaking the rip tutorial because the old one's ass now. First, download Asset Ripper from the link in the description. Use 1.1.4 since updates might change the process. Go into your VTOL directory, go into DLC, and copy all of the folders, and then paste them into the streaming assets folder in VTOL VR data. Now, go open up Asset Ripper. At the top left, open folder, go to your VTOL directory, and then select folder. And then it'll take a second to gather all the files. But then once that's done, at the top left, you can select the Unity version to download or export all files. Select the folder that you want to export to, and then select folder again to select that folder. Then click Export Unity Project, and it'll open up a command line window, and you'll see the progress, and it'll take a bit to complete. But then, once it's done, you want to open up the project folder, delete auxiliary files, and then go to Open Up Exported Project, and then select everything, copy it back to the original folder, just so that the project name is correct whenever in Unity Hub. In Unity Hub, add project from disk, open up the, the project folder, and then open it up. Until eventually, it'll probably crash. And then you open up the project folder, go to Scenes, and then delete all the folders except for maps and then open up maps and delete Akutan this will fix that crash open up the project again and now you're in Unity now in Unity go to the plugins folder delete all of the all of the Unity DLLs And also, delete the Steam VR plugins. In the description should be the Steam VR plugin on the Asset Store. Add that. And now go into Package Manager, uh, My Assets, and then install the Steam VR plugin. Import everything and then wait for that to finish. If it does crash, just restart Unity. Now go to Steam VR, Input, Plugins, JSON.NET, and delete this DLL. Now go to Window, Package Manager, and then Unity Registry. Install 2D Sprite. input system and text mesh pro no thanks if you ever see those and XR plugin management now after that's done uh, close out of unity and then open it up again go to edit project settings and then XR plugin management and then click on Open XR and Oculus and Open VR if it's not checked already, or if it's not there, I don't know. Close and reopen Unity. Now in theory, if you go to Console and then clear it, you should only have these three errors. Just click on one, and then open it in Visual Studio or something. Once in the script, go to the bottom squiggly bracket here, and then drag up all the way to the period, remove it, and then put a semicolon in. And then do the same for the other two. Then once you've fixed all those, you should get a pop-up that is just compiling them, and then fucking importing or whatever, all of the prefabs and stuff like that, which will take a bit of time. 
once that's done, go to console, clear it. Hopefully there's no errors, there's just nothing in there. And then go search up in the project tab, something like T55, drag it into your scene, and then you'll see it's kind of fucked up. This is because Acid Ripper kind of sucks at getting shit, so you have to fix stuff, like animations. So in the description, I have this animation zip, which contains a bunch of hand animations, which are the main things that are broken. Open up the animation clip folder in Explorer, and then open that up, and then drag all of the animation clips in. This will fix all of the animations for the hands. However, this only affects the vanilla non-DLC aircraft because animator controllers for the hands on DLC aircraft uh, contain animations that are slightly different file names. So you just select the hands and select the normal animator controller for the hands. Another thing that's broken is shaders. So create a new folder of something like vanilla shaders and then inside of there just drag all of the shaders in. But just adding these doesn't fix them. We have to go into the editor folder, and then in the description there's another script, an editor script that will fix them all. Put that in there. But there's still some that are missing, so in the description there's these particle shaders that are what Baja uses for his smoke and stuff. So go to package manager, uh, go to my assets, and then import that. You don't need to import the sample scene assets or the sample scene. Then import, and then once that's done, go to editor utils, tools, fix materials, and then open up the shader list. Then you'll see these two shaders that are missing, and you just click on the circle at the right side, and then search for em underscore particles. One of them should be lit. And then the next one is multi-light. Then once you've set those, just close shader lists and then click fix materials. Then that should fix everything. You might need to like alt tab or something. And then you should see it all is basically fixed. Now you notice the new afterburner is still broken. So select that at the bottom of the inspector, select the shader. Search MF dash after and then the one with my name and then select that and now it should be fixed. To use Asset Bundle Browser, if you're building an Asset Bundle, download Git. You may need to restart your computer. Uh, go to Asset Bundle Browser in the description, copy this Git link, and then go to Package Manager. Top left, hit the plus, and then add package from Git URL. Paste that and then add it. Once that's done, go to Window, Asset Bundle Browser, and then just drag that somewhere if you want. And then delete these two Asset Bundles because they will crash the project whenever you try and build. And that's it.